probably the biggest concern that people have anytime a new operating system shows up on the block is, wait a minute, how different is this going to be from the one that I know and that I'm used to and that I'm comfortable with? And so in this short video, I want to just kind of tell you the differences or the similarities, if you will, between Windows 8 and Windows 7. Well, first of all, Windows 7 is the foundation for Windows 8. Now, Microsoft contrary to what you may be hearing in the hysteria out there on the internet and so forth uh, Microsoft fully recognizes and understands and values the experience and the comfort level you have with their interface on Windows 7 and so this is a very strong foundation for Windows 8 and you're going to see an awful lot of Windows 7 in Windows 8 now there are two types of applications in Windows 8. One of these you've never seen before and it's the one that's kind of scaring people and that is uh, you have native Windows 8 applications and these are called Metro apps or Metro applications or you'll just hear them called Metro. And then you have non-Metro applications and these are the things we've been using all the time up till now. These are things that run on the desktop in the old Windows 7 type environment, Windows 7, Vista XP, so forth. Now, application compatibility on Windows 8 is really quite simple. If it runs on Windows 7, it runs on Windows 8. It's going to be very, very rare that you find something that will run on Windows 7 and won't function on Windows 8. If it runs on Vista, generally, it runs on Windows 8. Again, it's going to be rare that you find something that runs on Vista that doesn't run on Windows 8. The architecture between Windows 7 and Vista was very similar as far as application environments and so you're going to be okay there. Now if it runs on XP it may run on Windows 8. Notice that word may there and you'll just have to test it and see. There are some architectural changes but again these happen on Vista and Windows 7 and then some minor issues with Windows 8 could uh, create some issues for you. Now the desktop that you're going to see inside Windows 8 is basically Windows 7. About 90 to 95 percent of everything you see is going to be Windows 7. As a matter of fact, I, I've run Windows 8 uh, through all the various you know consumer previews and the release preview and so forth and I'd be out in a Starbucks here in Nashville and people would see me working in, uh, on the desktop they don't know I'm not on, that I'm on Windows 8. It looks and feels just like Windows 7. But then when they would see me switch out to the Metro apps and stuff, had a few people comment on it. But there are enhancements for certain tools and functionalities, even in Windows 7, but you're going to like what you see. Task Manager has been enhanced. Uh, the Disk Repair tool has been uh, enhanced. Uh, lots of other little things that just keep showing up. They're pleasant surprises. They're not things that prevent you from working with the operating system by any stretch. Now there is an excellent technical resource and let me stress technical here, okay? If you are an administrator or if you work on the server side of the Microsoft world, there is a Windows 8 release preview and Windows Server 2012 release candidate compatibility cookbook. Now don't worry about the release preview and the release candidate parts of this. This is a great resource. It's not named very well and I've put it for you out there in the work files folder so go check that. But This is a very technical document for those of you on the server side to kind of give you an idea of what's going on with the architecture and with some of the security functionalities that involves Windows 8 as the client and Windows Server 2012 as the server environment. Okay, so if you're a technical nerd, go read that. If you're just an end user who wants to know how to, uh, you know, uh, run Word and read email and do some basic functionalities, but you're not going to do any back office, you know, group policy and all that stuff, then don't worry about this. Okay, but I'll throw it out there for the admin types. Now, Windows 7 knowledge and experience, all that stuff that you've built up does transfer to Windows 8. Do not panic. Don't worry about some of the naysayers that you're seeing all out there in the media about how horrible Windows 8 is and how it's just a drastic difference and it's all so horribly different. Not so. By the end of this course, you're going to like what you see in Windows 8. Okay, so rest assured, everything you know and are comfortable with Windows 7 is going to transfer right over and you'll be cooking in no time.